Hey guys, so this is the Pickle 66 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this recent Danny Phantom film that I, that I found. <laughs> no, 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 just kidding, I'm not really. Okay, so just, well, well, uh, recently, okay, now, first off, as you guys know, now, well, I've, I've said this a million times in my videos, I love Nicktoons, and you know, just, well, I've grown up watching all of them, so today I thought I'd do my thoughts on this movie I never really saw as a, as a little kid because I was only a baby when it came out. Yeah, like, the year was 2001, so, and I didn't, and the show didn't start until 2002, and I never really knew it was a movie that was then turned into a show, like, Barnyard. Seriously. Anyways, this is my thoughts on Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, the movie. Yes. Alright, so, I will say the movie, it was a little funny. It had a few laughs. Um, and, well, um, well, it was, you know, just good. good and, um, also the plot was very interesting. Although, I think I do remember back when I was a r really little kid, like, in elementary school. I think I remember, you know, um, p them playing this movie, you know, at this, at, um, well, um, well, I'm at a ESS. Yeah, I went to ESS, but you shouldn't go there. It's, it's a, it's an evil place. Don't go. Right, so, um, basically they, I think it was... ESS, yeah, um, they played, they said I'll play this me, but, um, I didn't really get to see a lot of it, because, um, my parents already came and got me, and all, so, yeah, this, yeah, this movie, it, I gotta say, how it starts off, just seems like, hmm, alright, so, so, basically, you know, just, well, they, um, well, okay, so it just opens up at this, uh, I don't know, military base, and somehow, somehow, well, Jimmy is trying to, trying to, I guess, get in communication with, um, aliens, and, you know, Carl's helping him out, <laughs> and, you know, just things turn out, turn out for the better, like, they almost get caught, but somehow, well, the military base just stopped it's just gone for some reason during the next part of the scene and basically um well <laughs> jimmy you know throws this toaster in space well carl does it and basically he thinks like t he tells like jimmy to give this single and whatnot and no ugh, i don't really okay i'm i don't really know what i'm talking about yeah, okay, so, yeah, me, that was a little bit of a mess up. What I'm saying is, well, well, the, like, Jimmy's trying to get him, get a, I guess, trying to get in contact with, I don't know, some stuff because he recently just received a message from space and all that. And what did you know? It somehow after that very scene, they returned to Earth, eh, Earth, <laughs> Earth, I mean, ugh, man, my ton, okay, returned to Earth and pretty much, well, Jimmy gets caught by his parents to tell him, how many times have we told you to not talk to strangers? Because they think maybe the um, uh, people from space are maybe like astronauts or something and not aliens and all that. But yeah, and so, you know, after that, we just get some random cliches and all that. And then, you know, later, later, you know, just we get a random moment with um, stuff and whatnot. And, well, um, I guess, you know, there's just some stuff, you know, there's just some stuff that goes on, like, the, um, whole, like, the whole entire movie, they, uh, like, during some parts of the movie, like, when they're in school, they do show and tell, and this is where the part with Sheen, like, obsessing over Ultra Lord, I think we all remember that, although we don't, although what we shouldn't remember is that awful spin-off show, Planet Sheen, yeah. Although, I'll be honest, I did give that show a watch, and I didn't even notice the badness. And it was because I was a little kid, and I didn't become what I am today. And become 
well, what I am today, like, at the moment. So, yeah, at least it was good in, in this movie, so, yeah, and, of course, you know, you know, Jimmy tried to show off this, um, invention that he created, but fails, and all that, and then, um, Nick the cool boy comes in and, you know, like, makes, oh my god, just, what, just woo, wows the girls, like, out of nowhere, and, well, yeah, I'm um, just, it just, you know, stuff that happens, you just, all the stuff that happens can go on, right, and then basically, when Jimmy tries to show off this uh, shrink ray invention he makes, well, it doesn't work, and of course he's, you know, everyone just laughs at him for it, and that's what happens, and then, then his teacher, Miss Fowl, gets, uh, gets zapped by it and shrinks, and a giant worm tries to attack her. <sighs> oh. Yes. Okay, so, yeah. And then there's that uh, whole plot where they find out about the grand opening of this new amusement park. And they think, mm, and then they think what to do. And they're, and they're not sure what they should do because they're, because they're, uh, because they're afraid their parents will say no because it's a school night and all that. Okay. So, so, uh, after that we cut to the villains which are aliens and, well, um, King and, well, basically, well, they get that a uh, whole toaster thing and <laughs> there's a joke where, um, one of the, I guess, m the, uh, other aliens tries to... <laughs> say some stuff about it which is downright hilarious if I will say so like really really funny I mean like it's just hilarious I don't even know what to say about it and then you know he just says some stuff and then you know just after that the uh just after that they leave the toaster and they find out there's a message in it and of course it's the message is from Jimmy, and of course, Jimmy, you know, tells them, shows, shows, like, in the video, the message that Jimmy sends them shows them, shows them some stuff that they see on Earth, like, I don't know, like, his room, and, and you know, his pet dog, and then, what did you know, with the twist that goes on when he shows, the plot then begins when he shows his parents, and, you know what happens? Oh, man. And so, after that, um, Jimmy decides to, um, try something to, you know, to, you know, get his, get his mom to, to make him go to Retro Land, and, oh boy, hey, and then, and of course, he tries, but then fails, and wouldn't you know it, somehow, he, he then makes things worse when, when the, his, uh, when there's a jet pack, you know, starts going around the house and, and, you know, his mom gets mad. And then so his dad, you know, talks some stuff, talks, tells him what to do and then tells him, like, what not to do, what, what, how things will go. And then, um, they just, and, you know, somehow they just stop and then, then Jimmy just, will tell, and, you know, Jimmy said just says to him that he's grounded, and, and so, after that, they go, and so, when you know, after that, he decides to sneak out of, you know, sneak out with his friends, oh boy, and they all go to Retroland, yep, and there's even, this, and so, yeah, you know, we just get a random cliche of them, you know, having fun, and there's this one bit with Sheen, you know, you know, somehow feeling happy he's meeting his hero, <laughs> which is so right silly because, because we all have, we've all had that feeling, like, you know, when we meet someone where, um, you know, we, where we have a hero and we finally get to meet the, meet him or her somewhere, like, really. And of course, well, dur during that happening, well, uh, Jimmy, back at Jimmy's house, the parents are, you know, just being, are just, you know, spinning around. And then, wouldn't you know it, they get kidnapped by aliens! <laughs> yep. 
And of course, well, uh, Jimmy goes goes home and well, well, his friends and they all wish, you know, for parents to not exist. Oh boy. Yeah, which I probably kind of brought that up backwards. Sorry. And you know, just next day they find out their parents are missing. Oh boy. And they all say that they went to Florida, like, <laughs> oh, man. And, and, you know, we just get another montage where, um, you know, kids are being kids. And, of course, the movie then turns into what, well, it looks like a moment where the characters, like, where all the kid characters are, like, missing their parents and all that. And then Jimmy sees that little, uh, sees the recording that, uh, Goner, that, uh, Goner recorded of his parents, you know, saying goodnight to him, and, uh, well, well, you know, things just get, and, you know, he then, he then remembers, we'll see you tomorrow, he then remembers that they say, we, we'll see you tomorrow, in the message, and he's like, what? And then, he knows, he then finds out about what's going on, and then, show up like as an angry mob and so he so he wants them to help him and so they used all the right some rides from Richland to you know turn into a to turn into you know ships to turn into ships you know to save their parents but yeah so after that they go on to the pl they move to the plane they go to the home planet of the aliens and of course well, they sneak in and they find, well, well, the pa they find the parents are being mind controlled and are going to get eaten. <laughs> and all that. Oh, man. Okay. And then, well, well, Jimmy tries to get his dad's attention, but suddenly, but due to the mind control helmets, it starts to get nuts. And they, he then says, red alert, red alert. I'm like, <gasps> And wouldn't you know it, they all get caught. And afterwards they try to sneak in, but then they get caught. Until they're locked up. And then there's this heart heartwarming moment with a uh, sin with a uh, him and, and Cindy, you know, Cindy's being like all nice to him. And you know, he just Cindy just tells him that you need to do this. Like save our help us save our parents. Like 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 seriously. And I will say that's probably where some people at this point started shipping them. Or maybe, you know, moments in the show, even though I don't really, well, myself, well, me, myself, I don't mind the ship. I mean, it, I mean, come on, I can understand most people love, love or hate relationships. I, which is totally fine with me. I mean, I mean, like, it could be anything. So, yes. Yeah, so, oh yeah, so after that they escape, and then, and of course, they, um, of course they, they, they go to this call, the aliens have their parents at this call, at this stadium, where, I don't know, um, they think it's a baseball game, no wait, a football game, and <laughs> there's a part where they start doing the chicken, when the parents start doing the chicken dance, I'm like, Mm, oh man <laughs> and then well they then all go to the to the stadium and of course nick tries to you know act all like fearless and, but somehow he gets scared and starts screaming like a girl <laughs> which i will say one of the funniest moments i've ever witnessed in a kid's movie so after that you know they you know you know, they just fight the aliens, and then, um, they, um, and then, you know, they use that, uh, con they take the controller from the one guy who's controlling their parents' minds, and then, and then, once you know, they go, they go, and, you know, there's this one last battle that Jimmy has with, um, the, the, the leader of the aliens, King Goomba, and, and then in the end, they, you know, the, there's a scene where, uh, the pay where the kids finally reunite with their parents. Hmm. And all that. So, yes. And then, well, in the end of this movie, we get... The end... And then, well, the end of the movie... 
Well, the movie just ends off with a burp joke. Yep. And, of course, that's the movie. So, yeah. I will say, even though I didn't grow up, even though I only grew up with the show and not the movie, and all, but it's still good. So, yeah, I will say it wasn't bad movie. Like, what? I mean, it's, like, as funny as the show was. And also, yes. Okay, so... That's pretty much all I have to say about this. So I know this was kind of boring, but um, I don't know. I just got home, but I just got back from shopping today, so I'm a little, you know, done with stuff. So, anyways, bye.